Welcome back everybody to another episode on the channel. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about three different ways that you can rig up a swim bait and the setups I use for catching giant bass in the fall time. All right, so like I said, oh, What's this? Is there something on my on my on my shoulder here? Oh yeah, that's right. Today's episode, guys, is sponsored by the one, the only Super K Jigs. If you guys have never heard of Super K Jigs, you're probably living under a rock. Super K Jigs, guys, is a jig company out of Wisconsin here, and they make the best jigs that I know of, guys. They make swim jigs, they make flipping jigs, they make football jigs, they make terminal tackle, they make any jig color and combination you could ever possibly need. Now, you might be asking yourself, what sets Super K apart from other jig companies? Now I'm here to tell you. Super K jigs, guys, they are all hand-tied jigs. They have very, very good hooks on them, and they also, like I said before, hand tied. Do not go buy yourself an expensive jig that comes with a rubber band skirt on it. You guys need to buy hand tied jigs. They hold up a hell of a lot better. You're going to get way more bang for your buck. I promise you of that. So if you guys are interested in checking out Super K Jigs, I'm going to link them down below. Now, listen up. Use the code WW20. It's going to save you guys 20% off of your order. So I'll link the code down below in the description as well. So if you guys have never bought anything from Super K. Go to Super K's website right now. If they don't have a jig color that you want, email them. They will make you any color that you want and use the code WW20 and it'll save you guys 20% off. All right, so now into the video, guys. We're gonna be talking about fishing swim baits. Now, I love using swim baits in the fall time. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the fall time. So the fall time, those fish, their biological clocks are ticking, bass are coming out from the deep set they've been in, and they know that they need to feed up because winter is coming, where they're gonna go down deep again and they're just gonna become lethargic in that cold, cold water. So they know that, hey, I need to feed up and get fat for the winter time. What are you gonna do? Most of the time, these fish are gonna push bait fish, shad, sunfish, perch, things like that. They're gonna push them shallow into shallow coves, shallow bays, and they're just gonna ambush them. I tell you what, on a good morning of fall fishing, you will catch more fish than you have ever caught in your entire life. That is why I love fishing swim baits, especially bigger swim baits in the fall time because it represents a bait fish, it represents shad perfectly in the fall time and you can get on an absolute banger of a bite and catch some absolute giants. So let's get into rigging these up. Now there's a lot of different options. You can use, you know, you know, big swim bait like this one from Big Bites. You can use a paddle tail, rage paddle tail. You can other, use other swim baits. I'm not gonna get into that. Really, what I want you guys to get into when you're using swim baits is look around what at the lakes you're fishing and the rivers you're fishing and look at what those bait fish look like. What do they resemble? You wanna match the hatch. So around here, we have a lot of shad, especially on the Mississippi, that are just in big balls of bait. So let's just take this for example. This is perfect, you know, shad color, and we're gonna rig it up three different ways. So really make sure you guys pay attention to what you have in your area and that's the color scheme you're gonna to wanna to go with. The first way that I like to rig up a swim bait, guys, is going to be a weighted weighted hook here basically. So this thing is weighted as you guys can see and it's got a little corkscrew deal. Now this is perfect for the early uh, fall time transition when you still have weeds on your lake. And basically, all you're gonna do is take the corkscrew end here and take the head of the bait and put it up to it and basically just screw this into the soft plastic and then after this is screwed on you're going to want to go all the way to basically the eye of the hook and what i like about these corkscrew ones is they hold the bait on perfectly and they also do a really good job at not tearing it up and then you have it like so and you just take this and poke it through the belly and come out the back of the bait so as you guys can see that hook is laying right on the back of this uh, of this bait and you can even tuck that hook into the plastic a little bit so now, why is this one so good? Well, like I said, early fall time, when you still have weeds out on your lake, this is the absolute perfect method, in my opinion. Um, this is a quarter ounce hook, by the way. I don't know if I said that. I use about a quarter ounce weight, and along with the swim, the swim bait, it's plenty of weight to make long casts with this. Now, why I like this is it's weedless, completely weedless. Early fall, you still have weeds that are around the area that haven't died off yet, and this makes the bait completely weedless. You can even, even if you've got like some dollar pads or some vegetation that's still on the surface yet, you can throw this out there and actually just keep your rod tip high and reel it right across the top like a wounded bait fish and fish will go absolutely nuts over it. So this is my first um, option that I'm using most of the time, especially if I'm around a lot of vegetation and it works 
beautifully. I ended up catching a lot of fish off of it this way. I was just using it the other day, catching, I uh, caught a couple nice three and a halfs. There was some really uh, kind of reeds sticking out of the water that I was fishing by, and I threw this up in there, came through perfectly, and bam, got hammered out of there. A lot of times you'll have bait fish kind of near deep edges where they kind of meet shallow weeds. Those are another good spot to look for bait fish. Now, the next way that I rig up a swim bait, guys, is going to be with one of these right here. This is, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it, this is a Gamugatsu hook on here. You guys can see, it's just a normal swim bait hook. Now, what I like about this is how it has a rounded head to it right there. If you guys can see that, it's rounded. Now we're gonna rig this up and then I'm gonna show you why this is my absolute favorite method in the fall time for catching bass. So all you're gonna do guys is rig this up. It's just a normal swim bait hook. So all you do is go through the top of the, the basically the nose of the bait and then come right out the back of it. You're just threading it on. There's nothing fancy to it. You just thread it right onto the hook. All right, so there you guys see, I have it threaded right onto the hook. Now we have an exposed hook right there. Now, why do I love this method, guys? I love this method. For one, we have an exposed hook, so our hookup ratio is gonna be a little bit better. Um, this isn't like the best soft plastic, I guess I should say, swim bait for this, uh, this hook right here. As you can see, this is kind of fat right here, so it really limits how much this is exposed. So I might use a little bit different swim bait here, um, but just for rigging it up purposes. And now, what I love about this is this is the, the my favorite favorite way to fish for smallmouth out on especially the Mississippi River in the fall time because of this right here the way this head is designed I love fishing riprap and rock for smallies out on the river and this right here the head basically will hit that rock and because of the way it's designed it just naturally as it hits the rock will deflect up so it just deflects up so it bounces off a rock really really good and still allowing for an exposed hook and giving that bait fish presentation going through the water, smallies go crazy over it. They absolutely love it. So if you never tried this for smallmouth and you guys fish the river a lot, um, or you know of a lot of riprap and stuff shallow, this is going to be absolutely killer for those smallies in the fall time. Now my last and final way to rig up a swim bait is going to be an underspin just like this. The underspin is so underestimated in the fall time, it's insane, but this thing will catch you fish. So basically it's the same way as the swim bait hook guys you're just gonna go through the nose of the bait and thread this right onto the hook it is all rigged up you guys can see that we still have an exposed hook but now we have this blade right here shimmering in the water this is one of my favorite techniques when it's a super sunny day or maybe there's a little bit of wind I love it on a sunny day because this blade just shimmers in the water guys when bass are feeding up on bait fish they're feeding up on balls of bait sometimes. So you really want something that's gonna set itself apart. Now a big swim bait is obviously the first thing that you can use to set yourself apart. It's gonna look different from the other bait, but then an underspin like this gives off that shimmer along with a big swim bait and you're, you're bound to get a good bite. Now a big bite as well. You're definitely, in the fall time, you can catch a lot of fish, but you can catch a lot of big ones. So that's why I tend to throw big swim baits and especially with an underspin, like I said, this little blade gives off that shimmer and it just bass, it just signals the bass to come get it. And I tell you what, I've caught some giants in the fall time off of an underspin just because that little blade, I don't know why, but it just gives off that little bit of shimmer of those bait fish swooping through the water column and they it, they just can't resist it. They go nuts over it. So now setups, what am I using to toss the underspin on, you know, just a normal swim bait hook or the weedless one, guys. For these, all three of these rigged up styles, I like to throw it on a medium heavy fast action rod. Seven foot three is what I like. Um, you could go longer. Um, with these hooks and with this bait, you're not gonna like set to the moon when you feel the bite. All you're gonna do is lean into it. So a little bit longer rod helps with leverage, but most of the time if, fish, if I'm fishing around weeds and stuff like that, if I'm fishing clear water, I'm gonna use like 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. But if I'm fishing like stained water and stuff like that, maybe 20, 30 pound braid around rocks and stuff, usually I stick to around 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon carbon a seven one to one reel on there is what I use but really it comes down to the rod and medium heavy fast action uh, usually a seven three to seven six is gonna be the perfect rod setup for throwing one of these so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode let me know down in the comments below your favorite bait to throw in the fall time but other than that guys if you have any questions concerns leave them down in the comments I'll do my best to answer them I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one